Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make mango bars. These are sweet and chewy bars with real Filipino mangoes mixed into it. I love how chewy and how mangoey these bars are. And they're high in fiber from all the dried pieces of mango in them. Thank you to everyone for all your requests, and we hope you like this video. To start, place your oven rack in the middle position and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a small saucepan, heat it over medium heat, and add in 8 tablespoons, which is one stick of unsalted butter. Let it melt and brown the butter. It will start to smell nutty as it browns. It should look something like this. Transfer the browned butter into a bowl and let it cool to room temperature. At this point, also let one large egg come to room temperature. While waiting for your ingredients to come to room temperature, take an 8 inch by 8 inch baking dish and line it with two long strips of parchment paper that are the width of the pan, placing them vertically and horizontally in the pan. This will help to easily lift everything up when it's done. Take dried Philippine mangoes and chop them into small pieces so that you have half a cup of roughly chopped dried mangoes. This is about 75 grams of dried mangoes. When your ingredients are at room temperature, in the bowl of your stand mixer, add in the room temperature brown butter and 3 fourth packed cup of light brown sugar. With the paddle attachment, mix on medium speed till the mixture is smooth. Scrape down the bowl and paddle attachment. Add in the room temperature egg and mix just until it is incorporated. Stop the mixer and add in half teaspoon salt, half teaspoon of mango extract, and one fourth teaspoon of orange zest. The mango extract and orange zest are optional, but help give it a more rounded, fruity flavor. If they're not available or you prefer not to add them, just leave them out without substituting with anything. Mix this again on medium speed, just until combined. Then scrape down the bowl and paddle attachment as needed. With a mixer on low speed, slowly add in one cup of all-purpose flour and continue mixing just until combined. Try not to overmix this dough. Scrape down the paddle attachment and bowl for any unmixed flour. You can detach the bowl from the stand mixer at this point. Add in the half cup of dried mango bits and gently fold them in. Transfer the dough into the prepared 8 inch by 8 inch baking dish and spread it out so it's flat and even. We're going to bake this in the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes or until the top surface looks set and dry in the middle. We try to err on the side of caution. Exactly. We prefer the bars to be soft and chewy than to be overbaked. Let them cool in the baking dish for 10 minutes. Then holding onto the parchment paper ends, remove it from the baking dish and transfer to a cooling rack. Let it cool completely to room temperature. When it is cool to room temperature, transfer it to a chopping board. To make them into bars, I'm cutting it equally into four along one side that I'm cutting it equally into three along the other side, resulting in 12 mini mango bars. And there it is, delicious mango bars, sweet and chewy dessert bars with real Filipino mango bits mixed into it. Ang salap. Mmm, yum. So good. These bars really pack a punch with the mango flavor. And the mango bits add extra delicious chewiness to every bite. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make these mango bars. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Links below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for our written recipes and more, check out cookingwithkurt.com. Maraming salamat!